Yo inakuwaje mtazamaji ambao unatazama nyumbani sasa hivi kwa ni mchana najua ni muda wa adhuri unapiga piga mibu kwa andaa vitu ambavyo utakuwa unavipika vya kula ni kabla upike sikiza kwanza utamu utamu wa chai nzuri chai ya udaku nazungumzia burudani karibu kwenye chicha tunaitwa Ken Ralbis eh, Facebook Twitter Instagram ni pale Y254 siko peke yangu niko na wenzangu chijitamlisha mm -hmm. yenyewe zako fahamu zaidi au vipi mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am Eve Nyaga and kama kawaida on Chichat we give you the juiciest and the hottest gossip, newest movie trailers and the latest music releases. Mimi kama Valentine nimekuja tu manzira hari nimesikia tunapika vitu inside kuna juiciest inside ingine. I'm just very excited to be here with you. Yay! Yay. Karibu mm, sana na yajio kwa uvipi Asante <laughs> Eee, wanasima mbala anapenda kukatika sana Anapenda kudansa Hai leo Yemi leo. ya nazo story Tacheza story Tacheza nazo Tacheza nazo No, but tukona song pale mwisho Maybe tu ampati ya chance ya kumbia Yay Kabisa Au vipi Konki fa Lakini kabla tuzungumzi zaidi Wana weekend yonyi mekua vipi ni mekua aji Ile kuwa poa Nam I don't know how to explain what I did in Kiswahili Kubol ni nina Kiswahili Ni licheza na bol Bowling Soka Nini kubwa alafu tui Alafu kuna tupins uko nyuma ya Sasa inaitua jiku Iyo ujaijua Endo ufanyi research I feel a little bit better about myself But do you see what I do For once I know Yangu ilikuwa sawa Let's just say it was a lovely weekend Nime tulia to with my family Napendeza sana Valsi jamzuya na Nito je blondi Blondi She decided to go blonde Ya inakupua sana Mekubali sana Sips doi Haa kazi jimu zungu Sijimu uzi Haa usiogope Kama inafanya vizuri Inakutua vizuri Inakutua vizuri Even now pia nimependa Iyo print up kwenye shati Inakutua vizuri sana Ikubali Thank you I follow her on whatsapp Thank you Picha za kima taifa Hey Cute What he said Mwaki sana Kwa mi Kendi yangu imekua poa sana Imekua bomba Nilikuwa naisi vibaya Kidogo ya kima njezi mungu Misibabisha kwa ke Mepata mbovu za kufika Hani kupo kwa jili ya mapenzi ya mashabiki na mapenzi ya kipindi Hani tufiki na tusabagisha uge Shapo na Kupo Wepo mungu mefanya kazi Amen Tuzungumzi sasa maswala mbao kidogo Oto yeleo tunasema kimenuka Ama tasema kumenuka Sijui ya mwenye mtajie kaji lakini hivu naladhani ni nenu ambalo liko sawi ya sawa kabisa Na mzungumzi ya tanasha dona Wana mfahamu siyo Nadhani wakuna mtu mbae na mfahamu tanasha hapa Nani sasa Kuna mtu atakoso kuja after gene Gere The tanks Wana mkia wa diamond wa ngapi Wana mkia wa diamond wa ngapi kumzalia Au vipi Watatu Watatu kumzalia Lakini wana mkia wa tano mwasita kwa diamond kuweka wazi katika mtu mbae Siyo Yo, kabisa, so uh, Tanasha meza kweka majumbe kibao sana kwenye mtondo wa Instagram Insta Stories mm -hmm. Na ni jumbe ambazo zina uchungu sana ni kama zina vilio Mwanzo leka kivideo kifupi ambacho kinaonyesha kama anasema merudi nyumbani where she belongs mm -hmm. Chanelea, mm -hmm. ni posta mba watu wako uichukulia ki uraisi wako uichukulia kwa uzito sana mashabiki yake ususa na Tanzania vile vile wa Kenya mba wana mkubali Lakini vile vile kenilea zaidi kweka nyaraka ndefu sana kwenye Insta Story Hakaandika kwa mba kuna watu mba wana kutreat vibaya, watu wana kuchukulia kwa njia fulani ya wakweki vizuri ni vitu kama vile Haka zunguzi mba mapenzi mapenzi pali na watu wakaisi kwa mba ni kama tanasha kidogo kavunjo moyo hamekua hatu broken ya vitu kama vile Lile chama la mtaachana tu wakatokea basi wazi kumiti kama dubasi kiminuka Ajeka wazi kama mayachana minakuwaji lakini tukiangalia matukio Na utakumbuka nitanukuda ya mtalifo semu wakati flandoi Nyo kama nitanika isoma kwa rakaraka tu Anasema, oh, ladies always remember this, eh? Aha, mikibiza sana. Anasema, nyingina kwa manika landed in blessings. Anasema, I feel your presence, Allah, every, every time you close one door, you open another. Each and every single time, now wait and see what I have in store. Aha, sasa, kabisa, wamitua, wakaraka, ni? Aha, wamirugisha, ladies always remember this, is not love. A narcissist is disrespectful, insensitive, controlling, a bully, uses threats and intimidation, lies, disregards your feelings, minimizes and trivializes, gives you the silent treatment, rages, throws, Tantrums. 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 He's never accountable. He's hypocrite. Projects on you. Does not show sympathy or remorse. Uh, exploits is arrogant or con condescending. condescending, acts superior, uses demands, commands and orders, Do does not listen, is, is a know-it-all mm -hmm. and can have a charming exterior personality until he is en enraged. En enraged or things don't go his way. It boils down to an overgrown, weak, immature bully needing control with a sense of... So, ukiangalia o message, ni, 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 ni machungu sana, unasikia kama, uh, umona kama kuna dis, mtu ni hypocrite, mm. umona kama kuna pali mtu na ambaye uh, disrespectful. Mm, ni controlling. Ni, ni controlling. Hii, kwanza hapo kwa controlling. Con so, I know, ni, arrogance. Eh, uh, Condensate. Lakini, otu unaisi kwamba, kama unayachana. We know, if you know, you know. Unaisi kwamba, 
Hmm. Kuna kitu kinaendelea na Tanasha ama na Diamond ama kuna mtu ambaye amemkosea inakuwaje ni mbona anaeka mpaka anekezwa harafa ndiku kama hizo. Unajua Mschana the moment ame heart break you those are the things they go speaking about. Nam. By the way, utatafuta character za huyo mtu and then utaenda tu ukizip <laughs> ukizipost uko WhatsApp or you you never hit a woman. Eh the person who hit a woman Nam. is a coward blah blah blah. Nam. Utaona tu. Nam. Like it's a sign of something. Reading between the lines. Eh you read between the lines. Nam. And 100% what I'm saying 99% of the time Mschana kwanga me heart break you in yeah. some form of way kabisa mm. kabisa woman woman strength self yeah, yeah. self yeah yeah empame well to be on kuna kuna e senya rusongo a, a mm. woman scorned you, you don't mm -hmm. play with a woman scorned yani never yani mstana yani ukamuumiza hadi akakaa akasema okay ni muumia yeah, you're not supposed to play with someone kabisa like but pierce were trust be because uh, these musicians make jana makiki just because Sana. of songs Nam. but tuliambiwa simba anaenda rwanda soon because ni kama na to unite mm, kama ka. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so far three children jamaa na songo Mimi kitu ambacho kitafanya binafsi niamini kama uh, ni, ni Tanasha na Diamond kama wameachana ama ni kama wanaachana. Mm -hmm. Diamond katika interview moja aliyosema kwamba yeye wa aachi mwanamke lakini wana mpiga matukio mwanamke atamwacha mwenyewe. Sijui kama mnaelewa maana ya kupiga matukio. Anatakupa series of events ambazo utakufanya mwenyewe utatoroka. Wow. Tukiangalia series of events amemompa mwanzo akatoroka event yake. Mm -hmm. Sasa hivi wanafanya media tu Tanzania ngoma ya Gere Diamond amepotea ndio kwa Swiss Beats. Ushaendelea. Sikia Valentine Diamond akuposti chote. Mm -hmm. Diamond alianza tu kupiga picha Tanasha aliposti ile picha kwa na Diamond. Mm -hmm. Na zile zile maua za, za nini za vale tunaamini kwamba si Diamond maybe alitoa zile. Mm -hmm. Hiyo hoteli Diamond alikuwa amekaa pale ndio niletewa kama zawadi baada zawadi hapo na piga picha Tanasha. Yaani baadhi ya matukio ambayo sisi tunaona katika mtandao wa kijamii. Mm -hmm. Lakini matukio mengi hatujui kunaendaje. Mm -hmm. So mimi kwamba maybe kuna kitu kimenuka. Yopo kama kijanuka kija nitakao natafuta Tanasha baada hapo nijaribu kumpigia jeshika simu yangu tabaka mbona nakuja so tegete well, zaidi there's mm. fire there's fire there's a lot of smoke mm -hmm. ani unatoka una, unafikiria ume, umeruka moto ndio kanyaga jivu ambalo liko na moto <laughs> na hepa bike kuna gongo na basi <laughs> noma sana <laughs> sijui mtazamaji ambaye huko nyumbani pale unaisi vipi sana hizi story unaisi kwamba tanasha na diamond penzi lao limeingia eh kitumbua kimeingia mchanga ama bado penzi lao liko kidete kabisa liko strong kabisa hiyo mm. cha comment kupitia comment section kupitia ukraso y254 pale wana soma moja baada nyingine stand by top to top mm -hmm. so nyingine ambayo imeprint sasa hivi ni story ya ringtown mm -hmm. uh, wisdom yeah. na bahati yeah. sio mm -hmm. uh, bahati alikuwa kuna post ambayo ilikuwa imeelekea katika siyo ni zichanganya zote sio zichanganya zote zote ziko tu related no. anyway so ringtown unajua bahati of late amekuwa na matukio kuna post ambayo aliweka kuna dj aliulizwa kama anamjua bahati dj wa uingereza mm. jimani yes ni yeah, jimani anasema kwamba <laughs> yeye amfahamu bahati bahati anaenda kwenye twitter kana akaongea vibaya na wakati bahati anaongea vibaya msanii wake ambaye yuko pale yemb anajiona kama wisdom pia akaenda kuongea vibaya zaidi. Akasema kwamba akamhusisha Jimani na maswala ya ushoga ushoga hivi. Akasema kwamba ile jamaa ameshika na ushoga ushoga ni mm. kama vile. Na mwisho siku watu wakaichukua vibaya sana wakuchukulia poa sio. Mm. And alafu so uh, wisdom naye ikabidi tunaenda ama attack. So baada ya hiyo story mm -hmm. na bahati vile amefanya collab pia na vijana wa Gengeton. Mm. Umetokea sasa story Buka Rinto na keka post ndio hivi kupitia mtandao wa Instagram akisema mm -hmm. ni nyaraka ambayo alionyesha kwamba anamuona mdisown kama anaye yeah, kama chemo yeah, na gospel na mdisown katika gospel industry mm -hmm. na tisimuite gospel na tisimuite artist sababu anasema vitu ambavyo vinavyofanya vinadani kabisa na kimienendo ya injili ama mienendo ya Kikristo mm -hmm. sio mm -hmm. so baada hapo wisdom mnajua kama kawaida kama mtu mtetezo baada akatokea akaka post ndefu katika mtandao wa Instagram kama unavyoiona kwenye screen hapo na wisdom akasema anataka kudeal na issue ya ringtone hapa mm -hmm. akaweka aka expose kama unaona kuna ringtone na kitoto pale kikwapo kando yake mm -hmm. akasema kwamba ringtone ameweza kumneglect mtoto wake kwa mm -hmm. sio mm -hmm. na akasema kwamba ati alisemaje kuna mali alikuwa anasema hapa ati uh, huyo msichana amekuwa hiyo sasa ni msichana alikuwa anazungumzia msichana ambaye analia kwamba ringtone amemwacha na na mkota ile alivyosema huyo msichana amekuwa akililia ringtone support mtoto juu yeye upiga mdomo vile hako na pesa kushona mida but this innocent woman has been struggling and hustling on her own to raise an instant son cha kusikitisha when the girl tried to talk ringtone ana threaten atamuo juu anajua watu wengi kwa serikali the time she tried to speak to Eh hey, katika kituo fulani cha radio mm. akasema this weekend Rington hired a chokora to impersonate himself as the father of Rington's son which really pained the girl and the family and i have proof because Rington even tried to talk to me na mtafutia mtu mwenye anaweza pretend to be the father of the kid ah uh, ni kitu ambacho kimekuwa kimezungumziwa sana na mimi kitu ambacho kuna, kuna kitu ambacho kunanipa jibu ya story ambayo tutakuwa tunaiongezea mm. wakati wisdom anasema kwamba hata Rington alikuwa anamtafuta alikuwa anataka kumtumia kutafuta ile chakora ambayo ilikuwa na impersonate kama baba mm -hmm. ya mtoto wa Rington sio mm -hmm. na ukiangalia sasa hivi kuna story ambayo imetokea kupitia mtandao wa Instagram bado wisdom amepost akionyesha kwamba Rington amepigwa ni hata alikuwa amenda sijui sherehe wapi kule Runda kijifanya ni superstar lakini akapokea kipigo ambacho eh 
Naam akasema mjui. Mm. So naisi kama ni kiki sasa hizo mm. ndio vizuri sababu zile picha mimi nimeziangalia binafsi mm. ninavyosema kama mimi. Mm. Si kama ilivyo labda ni ukweli labda amepigwa lakini zile zinakaa tomato tu ama mafudi kala. Mna we staje nyanya na venye economy combine. What's wrong with you? Zimanza kushuka hiyo side yenu. That's very hurting and disrespectful. Stop it. So no na so naisi kwamba mimi binafsi ni kama kiangalia zile picha zile mtu anavokaa. Naisi zile yale mambo ya rinto. Hana bruises. Unaweza je toka down una black something somewhere. Ama kumefura yeah. yes. kumefura kinundu maana yani make sense. I make sense. Mshanelewa. So mimi mimi simba baba wizo maana kuna kitu wana wana maybe kuna kazi wanaandaa ama labda ni kujari kutaka kuzungumziwa tu tujui na kuaje. Lakini mimi binafsi naisi kwamba hizo ni kiki za pana pana na zitaishia tu pale mitandao. Sijui um, nimechukuliaje. Time yenye ali address um, um, bahati um, about to denounce kwa kwa gospel. Um, That was hiyo ilikuwa a bit kidogo cuz bahati yenyewe by the way amekuwa akienda tu astray. Lakini hata ukisema bit kidogo acha nikukata mm -hmm. kidogo kalima. Uh, with uh, Rington uh, yes Mwenyezi Mungu na yes ndio ambaye aliamkoa basi. I know. So, that's that's hana uwezo, that's hana uwezo lakini yeah. vitu zenye alikuwa anasema wacha tu tuseme they have some truth to them. Sio kweli sikata. Afanyi vizuri but atusemi am judge. Lakini hizi vitu zingine za wisdom na na ringtone hiyo yeah. nayo kusema tu kweli ni kiki mchezo hapa na pale eh hey. vale unasemaje the next thing tutajua tu ni song boom <laughs> ringtone atoe ngoma mpya <laughs> na wewe bwana mkunaji na bahati <laughs> yeah so see this we are told to love everyone even the sinners mm -hmm. eh, hata mimi ni sina tupendane si wote kabisa mm. mm. mtazamaji unazungumza nisi kwamba ringtone ni kiki wanapiga ama ni kweli jamaa akapigwa achia comment kupitia comment section kupitia ukraso wa 254 pale utacheki kuna comment kuna post iko pale utaona sura zetu alafu na comment utaona tuzo mko wapi yako ni yapi na nisi kwamba kweli ringtone kapigwa ama ni kiki za hapa na pale top mm. top val ah hivi tuvukishe kidogo mata international alafu turudi Hey, mm. so speaking of diamond yeah. kuna baby mama wake ex baby mama Nam. the one and only the Nam. boss lady mm -hmm. <laughs> Mrs Zari Nam. so kuna picha pale kwa kwa mtandao na kwa mtandao ni kwa kijamii eh <laughs> kijamii um she has a photo of her kipika chapati na hey, zile chapati Nam. by the way mm. unajua tunajua mwanamke na kupika chapati za round mm. hii chapati yake sijui boxi rectangle haina shape ama ni trapezi ya mimi tu tu hate kidogo kazi <laughs> Upishupishi wa Zari kina nani yo kina Dewe kina Mundi. Hii picha angetuwekea by the way. This yeah. will get a lot of slamming. <laughs> yeah. A lot of hit. But I think these people are smart. They've been on on the limelight for a long time so wanajua kiki ita ita leta traffic. See now it's news we are talking about her chapels. Okay, Meanwhile okay. maybe ata mm. <laughs> it's okay. Good morning Zari. Yeah. Lakini kabisa ndio ameka wazi na jua itasaidia masilie kwa swali ambao I can't cook. Mm. Oh, I, I'm going to spoil my my nails. So mm. I've just made them the other day. Nini vitu kama hivyo? So inatusaidia sana. Mbona hiyo part umesema na kizungu? Eh inabidi ni sababu wanazungumzaga hivyo. Mbona usiseme na Kiswahili? Wanazungumzaga hivyo masiliki. Oh my god. Eh ha. Kiki utakizangu beb. Unaona? So sasa hivi imetusaidia sana. Unaomwambia kama Zari mwenyewe hiyo nini hivyo wewe vipi mbona? Ah hii na mimi nita argue by the way chapati zake si za round. Eh so unatusumbua hata ni ndizo box lakini ni ndizo box. Give us a break. Kama Zari hezi pika chapo ya round. Mindo nani nita pika ya round. Na pika za round. Ado bipika zinaka romba. Sini sama zikia tulapezi. Mbora ikuwe tamu. Mbora ikuwe tamu. Na siku. Aija kauka. Siku ni. Soft soft. Utuambia tuode. Asimu tuode kuda. Tengambaye. Oh so. Yani point is. Mtu wa jaribu. Ya mtu wa jaribu. Try. Ya. She is like a good role model. You try. Sinona sinona tifa atakuwa mpishi mzuri. Hai, lazima akuwe anajua hii kazi. Mama watoto wangapi? Mama watu zaidi wa 5. Lazima ajue kazi lakini yeye yenyewe ish. Zaidi. Zari ongera sana bana. Nikibaki. Uwezi patiwa kila kitu. Uwezi kuwa mrembo and then yani jikoni wewe ni master. Yaani Mungu akubariki na kila kitu. Una pamoja na nyimo nyingine. Ni kikubwa anajaribu. The thing is at least she's trying. She's trying something. Obviously. Mimi nataka kuonja. Unaweza ituma mm. power to 54 please that yeah. would be wonderful. Kabisa. 
top to top kabisa tunarudia hapa Kenya na tunamzungumzia Willy Paul mm -hmm. Willy Pose so Willy Paul ameweza kuweka post katika mtandao Instagram post ambayo imeleta gumzo sana ni azungumzia kwa saya ni post ambayo inamuonyesha uh, mwanaume ni kama namgonga mtoto wa kike teke mm -hmm. na Willy Paul akasema kwamba na chani inakuwa alichosema yeye mm -hmm. alisema kwamba uki wakati unamnyima una, una ndio ati mm -hmm. uh, uki, ukiomba demo hey! alafu akunyime Ushanelea. Alafu ulipo la kandika karate. Ladies kuweni rada. Msinyime watu wa karate. Just give them. Hey. Na ni posta mbo imemchukiza sana one of the feminists ntasema. Official Janet Mbogwa. Uh -huh. Na kazungiza kasema don't post such videos. It is reckless and it makes it seem funny to be to violent. violent. Ni kitu mbacho pia misi jafresh wanachu. Sana sababu, kwanza. Msani kama wili pondi role model wa vijana wengi sana mbo wana mtazama na pia nafamu mashabiki wa kike njini mashabiki wake sana kwa miziki mbo wana waimbia kwa sifia. Mm. Lakini leo wa kiamuwa kuelekea kweka posta mba inaunisha kwa mba manamuke kikunyima kukupa kitu fulani na fao mpige vita na si vizu. Hata kama kuhimanisha veti sasa litaka iwe kama mimu lakini kuna mimu zingine ambazo zelea tila. By the way that caption was just wrong. Vibasa. At least ange caption in a way that in address the fact that u mtu wana mpigo ude Na haifa. Ivo, hee. Yeah. Hey. Une chukulia jival. When you're famous, you can't yeah. just do things maybe you used to do before you were famous. You know, no. he, when it's Gina, sasa wezi anza kupost vitu. But if none of us knew you na kipost yo, hatunge sumbuka. That's just yeah, it. So unajua, uh, so mele No, lakini hata inge kuwa any other man, it's that caption inyewe is so Mutoko reckless. Mutoko na five followers, tutam, tutam leta hapa kwa news. Oh, oh, tutam, tutam leta, yeah, but yeah. iyo story definitely vile uu jamaa na pigo ude mteke Sipo. inge trend. Hmm. Eh, yeah, so but caption, kwa caption do inashida sana sana. Ina, like, ina propagate like, your violence. Like, haha, instead of, oh my god. Yeah! Lafu kiangalia mtu kama Willy Poli pia sasa hivi tuseme kutokea kama kuna chama cha wanawake maybe kina ama njinjeo na wake mbao ina vitu fulani nitaka kutumia maybe msaniyo wa kiume. Mm. So kubati mbae za katoa kitu kama kilo. Tuna uja matu za tuka mpagazi wakati yeah, mshu wa sivu exactly. umanamisho kumbwa wanawake wa pili. Unaribu brand. Anaribu pia brand ya kuwa kia mba ati mazo ngezipata. Mm -hmm. So wanadhani ukika vitu vine pia legal team ya watu wake mbao PR team yake msaidia na ndani yendo na posti mwenye inabidi vitu mwenye ukiposti pia uliza watu mbao na ilewa maswala kijami mm -hmm. kweli mwita kukosti vitu vingi sana mm -hmm. hao vipi mm -hmm. tani sikato na zungu mzali kwa mitendaki jami na mwona andrew maulidi mdara nasima mimi ni kiwa o chata veta but nairobi soon kariri usana ya sharip sila sana nasima mumia slakta mike raboya nasima kirinjaga university represented eriko kodha nasima watching from rarieda in siaya with vivian utoyo and sis mildred adhiambo from sochoy girls ya nani uyo nicho baki nasima chichat kagumo hao vipi top stop kabisa na mwona na zungu mza na mwona na pita katiza nasema makutano umoya tiunda hey proc joe bad news chabia nasema chicha tamochi from kawa west i love to see val around eh amesikia rako kwa na uvipi hi nasema you guys please host me i'm an artist ebu ni chizeni yes bana bye hey proc joe uende fresh ya kiona d alafu brandi if nasema kayole eva stota nasema be the checkpoint robert machimba nasema mali titi i but get the king nasema but get the king with my new generation crew watching out at all macha sasa kabisa Aha, stacking, stand, anasema wachini kucheza ngoma za kiindi, hili hata za kimasai, mayadeki nji. Yon Kiplaga, anasema Baringwell, Damara, Vin, Jim Kelly, anasema Embu, Boss Dali, anasema Mbasa Live, Charles Hill, anasema Watching from Shamata, Nyandoro County, Tiba Kublaka, anasema Embu Lakta. Nani mwenye nizungumza? Mhm. Tende na alo, shukia hapo, siyo? Yeah. Top to top, kabisa, story nina mbazo ni trend, sasa hivi, hivi tumbiba, natungia pali tunesha wa kumtarudi loko. Ah, so... I think all the rappers, Nam. like what when I get into acting so much, Nam. you just don't do music. Nam. You do acting, you do a bit of this, a bit of this, a bit of everything. Watcha tuanze tuna kadibi. Kadibi ya lingia kwa hustlers, tulimona kwa hustlers. Na pia, we expecting how on Fast and Furious yeah, 9. Kadibi ya shiko kwenye reality show pia, ni kwenye hiyo. Ehe. Yes, love and hip-hop, yeah. love and hip-hop, oh, New York. Also, also yeah. being, being Mary Jane. Uh, yeah. Being Mary Jane? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 alikuwa kwa being Mary Jane, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So now the husband no. of that, no. pia ya mingia into acting. No. Na mekua featured kwa NCIS no. LA. No. Yes, as an undercover CIA. So hey, ni kama guest starring bali? Hey, ni kama guest starring. Yeah. I actually thought maybe atakuwa in a bad role. Hey, ama kwa mnaija. Funny enough. Say, yeah, the clip is on the LVP. Mm. Yeah, hey, no way. Mm. Na yona pali. Mm. Jamaa na tisha sana, jamaa na sababisha sana pali. LVP. Yeah. Na ni, ni, na naisi kwamba ni move ambao ni nzuri sana sababu mm -hmm. ukiangalia anatafuta pia anatafutia ugali ama tunasema anatafutia mboga kwa kiasi tofauti tofauti. Mm -hmm. exactly. Anaonyesha pia ana uwezo zaidi ya kuchana na mm -hmm. kufoka vile mm -hmm. pia anaonyesha kwamba ana uwezo wa mm -hmm. uigizaji. Na inakuwa yeah. inamsaidia sana kwa maybe kwa video zake 
kweli alafu mimi katika hizo filamu pia anaweza katoa ngoma na akamtumia ngoma zake so yeah i think hata kuna song yake ina play hapa kwa background ya nini kuna song hiyo hiyo clip iki play there's a there's a song i think ni offset kabisa eh na kadibi ame congratulate i'm so proud of you oh sasa ni nani ameinspire mwenzake kadibi si yeye ndo alianza yeye ndo alianza ingia masuala mengine tuingize kule kwenye kura rap watoto wanaingia sana kweli ngiko uzima 50 cent nyingine na kuna success sana 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 Jennifer Lopez Taylor Swift Taylor Swift ame act wapi ya mentorship cannot act guy amazing everywhere but she should no as in she has acted Rihanna has acted kuna Rihanna Chris Brown oh oh alikufa mapema hiyo movie but nani no alikuwa ameapia kwa nini blackish an episode of blackish i think ilikuwa season 4 season 5 And he was funny. Nenda <laughs> kuwaja. Yeah. 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 That's so many with Hana and Shiran yeah. where It Game of Thrones. Ge oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, by the way, funani pia amehusika mm -hmm. katika hii Fast and Furious inatokea nani kuna kuna msanii amehusika hapo. Mm -hmm. Cardi B. Yeah. Cardi B yako kwa Fast and yeah. Fast and Furious. So, yeah, yeah, kama iko poa sana pia ni kitu kizuri pia tuangalie wasanii wa Afrika Mashariki wasanii wa Kenya wakiingia katika vitu kama hivyo. Ni wachache sana wameingia. Mm -hmm. Kama Pascal Tokodi Yes. Yes. Lakini, uh -huh. lakini ye ali act, ali ali ya ku act kwanza and then music. Kabisa. Either way bado find that <laughs> money in <laughs> every <laughs> way. <laughs> every manner. Naam. Kabisa top to top kabisa. Mm -hmm. Tunarudi hapa local kidogo na tunazungumzia msanii all the way from 255 namzungumzia Mr. Nani, Mr. Kande boy namzungumzia la harmonizer. So harmonizer ameza kuweka ile art ama cover at mm -hmm. album ya kwake ambayo itakuwa ina drop very soon. Yaani album ambayo zitakuwa na nyimbo nyingi na collab kubwa kubwa. Amefanya collab kwa mara ya pili na Bana Boy. Mm -hmm. Vile vile amefanya collab na Yemi Aladea, atakuwa amefanya uh, collab na Mr. Easy. Amefanya <gasps> na Final, unaona amefanya na Calgary. Lady J. Heritage. Ani mpiga mpaka na Lady Lady Mr. Easy. Oh and fast the bad guy. Na Mr. Bloom kali wao. So ni collab mimi nakaita kwa ngoma moto sana. Mm -hmm. Eh nitakuwa inaitwa Afro East. Afro East. Naam. Unajisema tarehe rasmi kabisa lakini anaishi ngoma 18 zikitoka itakuwa kubwa sana. I think this year will be such a big big year for mm. artists. Nam. Wengi sana tuna expect albums zao. Kabisa. Tumemongeza kwa list yetu. Kwa list Last time tulikuwa na watu kwa watatu, wanne actually. Nam. Yeah. Wacha tuna uh, harmonizer itaifanya vipi? Ataizungulia Kenya kama mwenzake Diamond alivyoifanya mataifa pinge Tanzania. Ama ndio pinge Tanzania na Kenya tutakuwa tunafahamu. Lakini kwa sasa tunasema ongera harmonizer mm -hmm. ametoka wasafi na pia anaonyesha kwamba na uwezo. Isiko kwamba wasafi ilimtengeneza vizuri. Kama mm. patizo kwa zote kubwa kubwa. Mm -hmm. Lazima he's a big name. He's a big name. He's a big name. Yeah ana komoa mm -hmm. kama una sikiangalia sasa katika mapeji ya uja ku Tanzania mm -hmm. picha zenyewe kwa tatu unaiza mm -hmm. likiba diamond <laughs> Ani jamali achukuliwa alikuwa anabeba vikombe na kwa kuosha mavyombo wasafi labda yeah. ifanyishwe msanii oh. superstar leo pia niko kwenye list mm -hmm. na bosi wake sio na ile nini yake audition clip yake no. maraika <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's a big name hadi <laughs> anatakiwa on stage no. yeah by the way yeah, 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 yes, yeah, but i have a question hiyo punch ilikuwa ya kutusaidia kuleta hiyo album launch ama haya bana hii i think ni legend wana manager boni bodyguard wa monezi ile jambo Mwiza. Alimfuata. Alikoza ni changanyikiwa. Changa huya mengia. Sio vipi yende wani tuwezi kukuyona. Sio vipi. Alikevi mwe. You accepted. Hino jamali kama likuwa meipanga. Nuna nani? Alitegea haka mchapa na haka ruka. Na haka toroka. Haku mkwaja na kidogo. Kwa hivyo likuwa na jio consequence. Sindio unaakta unasonga mbio. Sindio jamali kuli enda ndo hivyo hivyo. Tunafa tujue kama alipatikana. Bodyguard waka likuwa mbodyguard wa mbeza likuwa mekasiri. Unaweza likuwa mekasiri. Hmm. Hata ukijaa mnani ashashuka na kumejaa watu. Si unamkimbiza maybe watu watakusaidia ah, kumshika. Mimi nashikiwa mwanaiza mbona ni sugu atakufika hata kupiga mita. Potea alipotea. Mm. Hiyo potea. Lipotea. Lakini sijui unachukuliaje mtazamaji na hisi kwamba <laughs> wewe unatarajia nini katika album ya Monaize? Unatarajia kuna kitu kipi ama unatarajia kitu kipi tofauti ambazo unaishi kwa hizo ngoma? Na ngoma gani ambayo unaishi katika mwezo ambao zimezoeana kwenye screen ambayo unaishi kwa Monaize tegea kwa sana. Mimi mm. collab ama single kulingana na title ambayo umeiona hapo. Sio. Tap to tap kabisa. Hiyo peleka international. So Big names. Big Maroon names. Five is a mm. big name. Mm. So they had a performance kule Chile, and their fans there were not happy about the performance at all. Yes, because while they complain and there were so many, yeah, there were so many complaints. Mm. But band in Asema, okay, Maroon Five, they are saying that they had technical issues, and throughout the performances, it was it was a crappy performance. Mm. And they are saying that 
Adam Lavin sana sana yeah, he's, Lavin. he's the lead yeah. kwa hiyo band yeah. alikuwa anasema he was not in his right head space at the time and he apologizes for being not being to deliver not being able to deliver kitu yenyewe alikuwa anafaa kudeliver kule yeah. and he's sorry and then anasema like fans can't understand your struggle between having to give a good performance and in your mind I'm at the back of your mind you're not okay you're not a hundred percent no joa it's it, by then you kweli you can uneza kuambelea watu you're trying to perform but you're going through so much Ata that we can't understand you unaongelesha watu uko nje unaweza kuwa unapitia vitu unaweza kuwa unapitia vitu mingi but you have to give a performance kabisa lakini na hisi pia waliweza kujitetea pia kwa sababu nafuatilia story kiundani zaidi wakaweka kusema kwamba ile performance yao mbaya pili sababu na itilafu za kimitambo na kama monitor ilikuwa na shida mara kidogo pia akasema alikuwa muda mwingi aliochukua kitafuta nguo za kuvaa nini hapo ndo sikuelewa mtu wa kiume Ngoti na kuvaa kwa ni Ah but he's a star. Hata kama ni superstar, unapiga sometimes on time tu. Mbona mbona kitu kizuri? Okay. Hata tusikiza alivyo wanasema alivyo wanajitetea hapa. Mm. Inaenda one to save. Last night wasn't our best. And and for that all I can say is that I'm really sorry. Um uh, you know, being in a band you play a lot of shows and I am so I'm so excited and passionate about concerts and about being my best and about the band being our best and being our best for you guys honestly you know performing i take so seriously and sometimes too seriously and, and to be totally frank uh there were some things holding me back sonically last night and i let them get to me and it, it impacted how i was behaving on stage which was unprofessional and i apologize for that uh we absolutely adore our chilean fans we absolutely love coming here uh and and you know last night wasn't our best and and for that all i can say is that i'm really sorry uh you know being in a band you play a lot of shows and i am so i'm so excited and passionate na nampa ongera sana amekubali kwamba walitenda kosa na kuwa wako wasababishia mashabiki wao na kaomba msamaha hiyo ni kitu kikubwa na unaomba msamaha ni kwamba kabisa sikufanya vizuri yeah hii ni kikubwa pia sisi ni binadamu na vitu vinafanyika vinatokea sometimes hii naongea sana unapiga kazi mimi nakubali ile yao inatoa ni ya gas ile turudi hapa kidogo loko sio mchekeshaji alikuwa kama Fredo Mondi so sasa hivi Fredo Mondi nataka kabla tuzungumzie story ya Fredo Mondi sio nataka tusome comments mbili tatu alafu tutakuwa narudi kuzizungumzia kiundani zaidi na mwana Steve Ngenga anasema Naitiri watching Andrew Maulid anasema naomba song ya Skali Music yoyote mwasi mzuri anasema watching from Ruanga County tuko pamoja Hezo Lima anasema love from Buluburu Nairobi love in the show keep it up Mike Kirabu anasema Kirinyaga University ina Kirinyaga yote represent CJ Lord Love but Kyudi anasema watching from Kitengela show iko juu juu sana na nuna anazungumza naona Abraham Boka anasema CBD falling then kanodima anasema chicha ni kwa madhari area 1 show iko fire Peter Kinyaga anasema anasema kesi ni malewa na ivasha ndio mta na nuna anazungumza kishikia hapo sio mm-hmm. so nataka tuzungumzie tuz, historia ya Fredo Mondi so Fredo Mondi ameweza kuweka barua ndefu sana katika mtandao wa Instagram uh, alikuwa anatumia barua kwa ambaye uh, alikuwa tuseme former prime minister wa Kenya mm-hmm. namzungumzia baba namzungumzia Raila Amolo Odinga sio mm-hmm. akisema kwamba yeye alikuwa ameitwa katika hizi rally za uh, ODM ama tuseme za ilikuwa za ODM eh? yeah anasema ilikuwa 2013 wakati NASA ilikuwa na nini akaitwa kwamba hicho ni alienda ni alietwa acha nianzie hapo anaposema Atrela Odinga remember in 2013 when you ran for presidency your last rally was at Nyao Stadium as excellency Uhuru Kenyatta was at Uhuru Park I was called upon to be part of ODM's MC that day alongside the great MP John Kiari and comedian Mdomo Bagi mm-hmm. sio na ni, ni post ambayo ina in, in, in uzuni sana na ina uchungu sana anasema kwamba anadai uh, uh, ofisi ya baba na wadai uh, zaidi ya 300 300,000 kwa kwa MC na anasema kwamba yeye yeah, hataki hata hela yake kuja kama sijui ina, ina profit imeongeza ama nini mm-hmm. ile 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 tupesa sababu anasema huo kuchekeshaji ndio unamwekea uh, ugali kwa meza huo chekeshaji sure. ndio unamvisha huo chekeshaji ndio unanipa rent ya kwake na anasema kwamba kuna time alikuwa anakutana na, na baba lakini anakaziwa sana anasema alikutana na Elo festival wakati anataka kwenda kumsalimia mgogoro ndio unamkazia sana ni labda namsalimia kidogo alafu anaondoka na akasema kwamba ni swali ambalo likoza limeshangaza watu wanashangaa vipi una siasa mkubwa kama baba anaheshimiwa sana na swala kama ile inamaribia jina sababu tunafahamu watu ambao 
mfuko kwa wakati alisema worth yake mm. kwenye interview fulani mm -hmm. ni bilionea huyo mm. so naishangaa 1300 na jua litakuwa swala kidogo sana sijui mbona imekuaje hivyo sijui ni mnachukuliaje unazungumzia vipi sidhani ni baba directly naam lakini ofisi eh hey, ofisi yake naam maybe kuna mtu alipatiwa hii pesa patia friend naam ilikuwa ishalocketiwa kwake si ndio but for some reason ilienda tu ikaenda na ikumfikia so hatuwezi sema ni yeye exactly naam my thinking sidhani ni yeye mwenyewe Nam. ni hao watu wenye kwa kwa hiyo ofisi yake ndo walipatiwa pesa shika umpelekea shika umpatie this is payment yako it happens Nam. mtu anapatiwa pesa for some reason haikupati mm. 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 kuna budget ilitoka lakini utawai unaweza eh, but budget iko mchezo unachezo hapo mchezo mchafu sana exact game tough na si vizuri sana sababu mimi sometimes unajua vijana kama hawa wanategemea vitu kama hivyo unajua Fred Omondi ye kujitolea kufanya uh, rally ya kisiasa kama MC mm -hmm. ni hatari pia sana kwenye brand yake lakini ali risk ushangelea mm -hmm. mwenye alisema kwenye hatari sana kwenye brand yake sababu mfai kufanya vitu ambavyo ni political sasa hivi leo tukiona pale anapiga sehemu fulani anaweza mm -hmm. kujijazia vitu fulani maybe mimi sifuatii hiyo chama ukimwona mm -hmm. pale alikuwa shabiki yake ndio ushabiki mm -hmm. maybe ninachuki fulani vitu kama vile lakini ali risk lakini kwenye risk ya kwake pia apati faida lakini kikubwa ambacho unajua huku nchi Kenya nchini Kenya kwamba wakati watu wengi kitu kwenye mtandao wa kijamii ikago viral watu wakaizungumzia mm -hmm. mwisho siku utapata kitu chako kweli so tunadhani sasa tutakuwa namtafuta friend vizuri oh, oh, oh. alafu tutakuwa tunazungumza naye tu maybe tutakuwa na answer next time yeah mm. kabisa tukija mm. hapa Jumapili tutakuwa na hapa kweli yeah mm -hmm. au vipi mm -hmm. top to top kabisa mm -hmm. hivyo wengine mm -hmm. kulisemaje so still on the performances um sometime last month kulikuwa na super bowl headliners walikuwa Shakira and Lopez Jennifer Lopez The performance I watched it and it was quite good. But kuna <laughs> kuna KFCB America ni to Federal Communication Commission. Yep. They got like a thousand 1300 complaints that the the performance what was ilikuwa like soft porn. No. It was too much. And then you know Super Bowl, the people who tune to watch Super Bowl. It's such a big thing. So many yeah. people and kuna watoto families. It's huge. So we expect families hmm. mama baba mtoto watoto wao wote everyone is watching and they're there talking shaking and there's this particular part Jennifer Lopez was like wide open <laughs> kia kothe yeah kia oh exactly <laughs> kia kothe no. yeah and sasa so, you know these complaints i don't know hiyo like, ime happen kitambo but no. sijui mbona saindo si, si watu wana mbona pia mimi kitu ambacho nafahamu wazo nijue imekuwa pia kongo imekuwa kama mshangao tunafahamu watu wa ingereza vitu vya kubaki uchuchi vitu vya kawaida sana kwao sababu kulingana na vitu ambavyo wanatuonyesha kwenye ma movies za kwao kulingana kwenye ma video ya kwao mm -hmm. alafu ambayo tunaiona so sijaelewa mbona wakati wanafanya vitu kama vile vya kawaida kwao imekuwa tena kama big deal ni wamegua na ni, ni waafrika wale walikuwa na comment ama inakuwaje lakini <laughs> kikubwa tunafahamu kama pia wasanii ni vyo vya jamii. Yeah. Mwisho siku ukipiga kitu na unajua kabla upige kitu kama unajua issue ambayo unaelekea ni, ni watu ambao unatazama ni watu wakubwa lakini pia ni watu wadogo na pia ni watu ambao wako na familia yako kwao itakuwaaje itakuwa inaleta picha gani itakuwa inaleta muonekano gani. Wakati mtu akona mama yake na babake yake na mtoto wake watakuwa mm. wanaishi vizuri na mtoto wakati utakuwa unatazama itakuwa naongoza vizuri. Kuna vitu kama hivyo unaishi kama watu ambao ni vyo vya jamii wako wanazingatia sana. Mm -hmm. yeah, but Lady Gaga's performed at this bubble uh -huh. and this is a shore who has meat. So why is it such a big deal with Jennifer Lopez and Shakira? I don't even understand it by the way. Sometimes watu wanaanza kuzungumza. Sometimes hizo watu wameona kitu kwa muda mrefu alafu wamenamaza. Just because they are because they're not at a completely Caucasian are they? Yeah. In terms of yeah, some yeah. immigration. Eh yeah, eh yeah. uh huh. Mm -hmm. Ni like kikubwa macho mimi nikaanza nianza kuzungumzia pia Super Bowl eh mm -hmm. incredibly offensive nimesikia kwamba issue ya Super Bowl ni kubwa sana mpaka mm -hmm. wasanii sometimes wana perform for free so yeah. kwa sababu ya nafasi yani ukipata nafasi yani umefika level nyingi performing ni, Super Bowl is a huge deal nasikia mpaka watu wanalipa ku perform huge deal I, i don't know how to explain it first mm. of all foot, football yao si soccer football yao is a very very big deal so mm. imagine the Super Bowl is even bigger alafu certain performance je hiyo I wish, I wish we had, had the numbers me. of what when you tune kwa Super Bowl. Over 6 million like yeah, oh, that, exactly. that many. Yeah. That many. So it, it's a huge deal actually. Mm. Very very sana. huge deal. Kikubwa tu mimi tawaambia hivyo ni tuhakisha kusisi kama vivyo vya jamii. Tuvae vizuri. <laughs> Kivu tumetosha. <laughs> I think si kuvai likuwa issue. Yeah ni okay unaona kwa hii comment yeah. kwa kwa hii post ya shade room they are saying that yeah. Shakira yeah. grinding her behind against yeah. them tin foil yeah. wearing months 
Yes. yes. So Nam. I think uto to actions to dogo to dogo. Nam. It's not even shaking of the mm. behind. Nam. It's I, I wish you a clip in Jennifer Lopez and took sure. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So and considering vile alikuwa amefanya practice mingi ya ku act on and yo yo practice yake ya hustlers. Nam. She did so much practice ndio akuwe stripper mzuri kwa hustlers. So niliona most of it ilikuwa mm. implemented hapa cuz she had a pole somewhere. Nam. Yeah. Nam. Okay. Ibas, ni, ni but, 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 but at a Beyonce yeah. I perform kwa Super Bowl and you all know the clothes that she be wearing they look like swims, swimming costume. <laughs> Why are we not complaining about that one? Why are you just choosing to just disturb <laughs> Shakira? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, I see where you're going with this. It might be. No, come out to complain, complain kila mtu. Kila mtu, see what is specific. Everybody should just be called out, not just one people. Na dani, sababu mwagwa na tumia yu stripping pole. Kasi ilika kama ni ni a stripper. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Lady Gaga I would yeah. be just you'd Okay. Mtu zamaji anasimaje ambaye uko pale nyumba yangu umekaa sasa hivi natazama mashio. Tuambie kwamba wewe una ICV, kwani si kwamba mazungumzo ambayo hivi natueleza hapo kuhusu nao wale ambao walikuwa wanapiga ile performance kwao ilikuwa sawa ma si sawa. Acha comment kupitia comment section kupitia Y254 page ambayo iko pale Facebook. Kwa hiyo mtakuwa nasoma moja baada ya nyingine muda si mrefu, sio? Tunatuvukia tu tatu tu katika kategori nyingine tofauti kabisa, kategori ya ngoma, muziki. Au vipi? Tuanze na international ama tuanze local. Local. Tuanze local. Definitely. Tunapenda kwa nini yetu? Umesikia gani ngoma mpya gani hapa? Mmm, umesikia ya I think mm. I think ni unataka kusema yeah my boy na real but I think mm -hmm. they are two different songs. Are they two different songs? They are two. Yeah, metongo, metongo uh, mbili. Watu wawili ngo mbili. Kuna weka alafu kuna rada safi. Mm. Wow. Na mimi nataka rada safi tuzungumze sababu rada ni safi sana. Wewe nimekubali mwanzo wa Abriel alipopiga luku pale ndani na kaa vizuri yani nimependezo sana muonekano wake. A boy is a boy child. Mimi ni kubali. Mimi nimependa sana muonekano ni kwa hivyo. Alafu ngoma hiyo pia imetulia ni kinyamwezi sana. Wakati uko na bibi na umechoka sema au umetulia kwenye kochi lako hapo na uzo kaisikiza ukasikia muziki mzuri na usikiza malavidavi yako sawa kila kitu poa umecheza vizuri ya biti na maneno sijui mimi naizungumzia vipi kabla tuita za yani mm. i think kenyan artist umekuwa so predictable naam unaanza na kiki 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 and then song si hao watu walianza na kiki last year au sijui siezi fanya collab na wewe juli kata and then all of a sudden boom mbili kwanza mbili consecutively one wacheza up game yao ya kiki wa up game yao ama waache tu kiki acha kupima kenya ni vizuri tu kiki just give us kosa kiki tupata wapi kazi ya kuzungumza hivi kweli okay i see i see the point iwe zaidi wafike zaidi tutafuta hapo wataalamu yodi ya ketel pisa but kongi nye ni kali sana yeah but one of the biggest producers sedo sedo ambaye ametekeza nguma za mkali nyashinski nyashinski ambaye mademu mkimona msa mna kufa oh my god ayati titeza wa nguma rada safi eh tusikie kwenye pio mbogo nyumbani tumuwe sikia vipio nguma rada safi